So what if there were not only an internet of information, what if there were an internet of value? Some kind of vast, global, distributed ledger running on millions of computers and available to everybody, and where every kind of asset from money to music could be stored, moved, transacted, exchanged, and managed, all without powerful intermediaries. What if there were a native medium for value? Well, in 2008, the financial industry crashed, and perhaps propitiously, a unknown uh, or anonymous person or persons named Satoshi Nakamoto created a paper where he developed a protocol for a, a digital cash that used an underlying cryptocurrency called Bitcoin. And this cryptocurrency enabled people to establish trust and do transactions without a third party. And the seemingly simple act set off a spark that's uh, ignited the world, that has everyone excited or terrified or otherwise interested in many places. Now, don't be confused about Bitcoin, okay? Bitcoin is an asset, it goes up and down, and that should be of interest to you if you're a speculator. More broadly, it's a cryptocurrency. It's not a fiat currency controlled by a nation state, and that's of greater interest. But the real pony here is the underlying technology. It's called blockchain. So for the first time now in human history, people everywhere can trust each other and transact peer to peer. And trust is established not by some big institution, but by collaboration, by cryptography, and by some clever code. And because trust is native to the technology, I call this the trust protocol.